I like to collect holiday releases. Fourth of July, Christmas, Halloween's probably the best because we can get some pretty wild designs. Sorry, I didn't keep the name, but somebody sent me a message saying, Hey, Race Grooves, you know they're going to release a special edition Monster Jam Grave Digger for Halloween. I said, Hey, thanks for letting me know. And I put my order. $9.99 a car. 5,000 pieces produced. Up to 5,000. And these are the kinds of things. Pretty nice packaging. You, you like to keep it in the package. Limited edition Halloween Grave Digger. This is for uh, 2014. There's the website where I got it from. You like to keep it in the package? It's a pretty nice package. Me, I like to open stuff up. I got one to open up and one to keep in the package. I'm curious if the decos are the same on the other side of the Grave Digger. Looks like it from this angle. We're going to open it up and check it out. Pretty neat. You get a jack-o'-lantern skull. Over here, you got Max D on a pumpkin. I don't know who's behind the tire. Let's see. Who else do they show on the tires? Hey, I didn't even see that. Dennis Anderson, R.I.P. To thy legion cry, thou shalt arise of flames and thunder to claim thy prize. Kill devil hills in C. Hmm, who's that? Tell me, guys. I don't know. Who's N.E.A.? I don't know who any A is. You Monster Jam hardcore fans will let me know. I know El Diablo and I know Monster Mutt. Oh, hey, how come Monster Mutt gets two? Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Adam and Ryan. Who are they? Avenger. I know him. And then the one that got torn on the side is Mohawk Roy Warrior. The hubs look pretty good. You got orange hubs and then they got this purple metallic ring. They look really good in person. Looks pretty cool. There's the deco on the right side of the vehicle. Now let's turn them around. Yeah, looks the same. Back of Grave Diggers open, so there's no decorations here. Printing on the top says uh, Grave Digger, bad to the bone. Pretty nice flames on the hood, too. Look really sharp. Plus, got uh, headlights. Hot Wheels collectors, we don't get to see that too often. But the Monster Jam trucks, they get extra level of details, and they look really sharp. Like I said, I love collecting holiday releases. I appreciate the fella that gave me a heads up. You know, the Hot Wheels at Kroger, they got a bone shaker in the singles for the Halloween Fright Cars. We call them Fright Cars. I'm not sure if that's the official series. But Bone Shaker, he's a Monster Jam too. It would be pretty cool if he got a 2015 next year. It would be pretty cool if he got a holiday paint job like Grave Digger. I don't know if they would or wouldn't. And this is an unofficial. I opened up a P.O. box. It's down in the description. If you'd like to send me a drawing of what you'd like to see a holiday, a Halloween bone shaker, like Hot Wheels, the 164 scale model, got a bone shaker Halloween 2014. Just imagine uh, they're going to do it for 2015. Send me a drawing and I'm going to make a video See what people come up with for their decos, for their paint jobs, for, uh, you know, an imaginary 2015 Bone Shaker Monster Jam Halloween release. Information is down in the description below, and it's just for fun. No contest. It has uh, nothing to do with Mattel. It's just me having fun with my toy trucks. And I'm sure you guys like your releases as well. Bone Shaker will make a ho perfect holiday Halloween edition. I keep saying holiday. We'll make a perfect Halloween edition. I'm sure that you know of other Monster Jam trucks that would be pretty cool Halloween releases. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Who knows? I hope they do something again next year. I like them. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.